Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session part 4 on change of variables polar coordinates. In the first three sessions, we have seen the basics and simple problems on circles. We have seen two different circles and then one infinity problem. In today's session, we are going to see a different problem. You see what is common between all these three, you can easily guess it. The angle is going to be always from 0 to pi by 2, 90 degree because this is covering the first quadrant as well as the second problem, I can easily see it covers the first quadrant 90 degree. Then the third problem also you can see it is covering the first quadrant. So now you should not mislead that all the problem will cover only the first quadrant that is 90 degree. It depends on problem to problem. It may cover 90 degree or 45 degree or 180, 2 pi etc etc. So for a change I am taking a different problem and we are going to solve in this session. May change into polar coordinate find the value and see the toughness of the problem students. You see the numerator is x square, denominator is square root of x square plus y square and we have to integrate with respect to x then y. So this is not an easy problem to solve in Cartesian coordinates. It's going to be really tough. So that's why we are going for the new technique. We use change of variable especially according to our syllabus we try with polar coordinate. Now you see the inner integral we have dx. So the limits are y to a, yn constant. If we have dx the limit should be either constant or in terms of y. So we are taking the integral as capital I. Then step 2. As usual we are going to convert into polar coordinate. We have to write x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sin theta and whether it is dy dx or dx dy. We are going to write this as r into dr into d theta. Next from this two equations squaring and adding we will be getting x square plus y square is equal to r square. So using this four data we are going to convert the Cartesian coordinates into polar coordinates students. Next step 3 we have to write the equations then only we can able to draw the figure. From the figure we can convert the Cartesian coordinate into polar coordinate and we can find the corresponding limits. So inner integral we have dx so x equal to y to a this is my equation so x equal to y to x equal to a when you go for the outer integral we have y equal to 0 to a the good thing is all are simple and linear equations so we can easily draw the figure and in the change of order hope you remember the same kind of situation happened we found the points etc let us write the equations first we write the constant now these three equations are very easy for me to draw y equal to 0 means x axis y equal to a means parallel to x axis x equal to a means parallel to y axis i don't know what is my x equal to y and just finding the intersection points so we know the constant value y equal to 0 y equal to a now substituting y equal to 0 here we will be getting x equal to 0 when you put y equal to a we have x equal to a therefore the line x equal to y passes through the point 0 comma 0 and a comma a so all four informations are ready now let us go and draw the diagram that is my step 4 y equal to 0 is my first line that is my x axis then the second line y equal to a that is parallel to x axis and the third straight line is x equal to a that is parallel to y axis now three lines are done the fourth line is going to pass through the point 0 comma 0 and a comma a you see here this is x equal to a this is y equal to a therefore the intersection point is going to be a comma a now we can draw the straight line between these two points students and now you can see my closed region is going to be this one so i want to find the solution for this region by changing into polar coordinate now i want to convert this problem into polar coordinate so the hold here is at this point you can easily see the hold is here that is at the point 0 comma 0 and we know the point a comma a so now when i want to draw the strip my strip is going to be like starting from here it cannot touch the line x equal to y so only option it have to touch the line x equal to a therefore my strip in polar coordinates looks like this therefore finally step 4 is my diagram here the points are a comma a 0 comma 
zero. Now it is crystal clear when we see the angle. It is not ninety degree. Okay, we know that the line x equal to y cuts the first quadrant exactly forty five degree. So this is going to be forty five degree, and this is also forty five degree. Therefore, my angle is going to be zero to forty five degree. I have to write in terms of radian pi by four. Next, I have to find. R limits x square plus y square is equal to R square. Since the starting point is zero comma zero, I can easily get R equal to zero. Next, we have to find the upper limit. See, see my strip is touching at the line x equal to y. From step two, we know x equal to R cos theta. Now, from the figure, we know x equal to y. So, y is equal to R cos theta. Y by cos theta is equal to R. Therefore, my R is y secant theta. This is my upper limit. So step five gets over. We found the limits. Finally, we have to change the given Cartesian coordinate into polar coordinate, and then we have to evaluate the problem. So let us write the question, and we use this formula. We are going to convert into polar coordinate. Now, for dx dy, I am writing R dr d theta. The limit just now we found. Integral zero to pi by four. Here integral zero to y secant theta. My denominator is going to be x square plus y square is r square. Now my x is r cos theta. Here we have x square, so we have r cos theta whole square. This two data we get from step two. Now I can cancel this r, and finally we get integral zero to pi by four. Integral zero to y secant theta r square cos square theta dr d theta. Now we have to integrate this. First we have to integrate with respect to r. So we get integral zero to pi by four cos square theta is constant. R square integration is r cube by three integral zero to y secant theta d theta. Now substituting the upper and lower limits, we will be getting. Cos square theta into y cube secant cube theta d theta. I can take this one by three outside. Now y cube is also constant, so I'll take y cube by three outside. Integral zero to pi by four. I can cancel this cos square theta with secant cube theta because we know secant theta is equal to one by cos theta. So the remaining thing will be secant theta d theta. In the previous problem. We have cos power four theta, so we use the technique. But here we have secant theta. Now how to integrate secant theta? Sometimes students would have do the error because of the misunderstanding. Whenever they saw secant theta, they will write secant theta integration is secant theta tan theta. But this is wrong. Why? Because differentiation of secant theta is going to be secant theta. Tan theta, but they are asking integration of secant theta. So integration of secant theta d theta is going to be log secant theta plus tan theta. We have to remember some formulas. No other go. Therefore, integrating this, we have y cube by three log secant theta plus tan theta. The limits are zero to. Pi by four. Now we know we know cos zero is one, so secant zero is also one, and then tan pi by four, tan forty five degrees is one. When you go for cos pi by four, cos forty five degrees is one by root two. So when we write secant pi by four, it should be the reciprocal. We'll be getting root two, and we have a result log one is equal to zero. Now keep all these things in your mind. We are going to solve the problem in a simple way. Substitute the upper Upper limit and lower limit here we will be getting like this. So a cube divided by three. Just now I said all the formulas. Log secant pi by four is root two. Tan pi by four is one minus log secant zero is one. Tan zero is zero. And we know that log one is going to be zero. Therefore we have only one term here. That is log square root of two plus one. Therefore my final solution is going to be a cube divided by three log square root of two plus one. This is my solution. Students, now you see if you try this in Cartesian coordinates, it is not very easy. It should involve a tough simplification process. Hope you understand. Thank you for watching.
We hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more and keep up the great work. Subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.